the third baseman, number one. First baseman, number 33. The second baseman, number one. DHD, let me know if you can hear Donnie Dick shot. All right, so welcome everybody. Day three of the DHD. Got a little late start here. Sorry about that, but we do have a big six to really show up. I don't know what's going on here. All right, so we're in the top of the second. Empire are up. And here is Eric Shun coming to the plate. And there's a steal attempt. And that is going to be safe as second. And here we go. Got to get my bearing straight. Sorry, guys. And that is a 3 0 count here to Shun. And that's going to be four straight pitches, and that will be a walk. Now batting, the shortstop, number 34. Here comes Olaf. And Otis Boudreaux, the second overall pick, is on the mound today. So getting a good look here at his debut. And that is going to be a call strike here, 0-2 count with two outs. The Empire are threatening. Here pretty quick. And that's going to be a shot right to first base, a filter snatch. He's going to go for the force of second. Beautiful double play there, the 1 6 3 double play. Center fielder, number 18. Today. So, getting a good look here at his debut. And that is going to be a little slow roller right there to Jamie Borquez. And that is going to be the third out of the inning, so no runs coming across. Yeah, it's his debut in the regular season. That's, that's what we're talking about. His first start. He debuted in the regular season or in the, in the spring training. I don't count that. Okay, we don't count that. So here comes how he felt to snatch at the plate. 
And that is going to be a 2-0 count here. Quick 3-0 here. Let's see if Howie gets the green light. Thank you, babe. And that is going to be ball four. Now got the second base right, good. So net loud and clear. Sorry, that echo may have been on my end, but oh, I think I got it resolved. And that is ball five. And here's a steal attempt on Rob Masters, and that is going to be an out. What an arm by Rob Masters. Beautiful play there. And that is going to be one out, and that's going to be a 2-2 count. And that is going to be foul out of play. Akira Buzzsaw, a rookie also. A lot of rookies in the league this season. Love seeing it. And that is going to be a fly out in foul territory. And that is going to bring up Brandon Savayas. I think that's how you say it. I'm just going to call him Brandon. And that is going to be outside ball one, or strike one, I'm sorry. And that is going to be a shot right to first base. Merle McGuire is going to scoop it up, and that will be the third out of the inning. Nothing coming across. Only one hit so far by the Empire. And we're going to see the nine spot. Then we're going to see the top of the order here for the Empire. Willie Knox coming up to the plate. And that is going to be a call strike there for Otis Boudreaux. That is going to be ball one. And there's a call. One, two count here. Swing and a miss. Strike three. And that is going to be the first out of the inning for Otis Boudreaux. And that's going to bring up the top of the order here with the reigning MVP, Fab Freddy, coming up to the plate. And that's going to be a slow roller right there. But Jamie Borges is going to scoop that one up and make a great play there at shortstop. And that is going to be the second out of the inning. Rob Masters coming up to the plate here. And that is going to be a pop-up into foul territory. It looks like Howie Felcher Snatch is going to be able to get to that and end the inning. Nothing across once again. This is a tight ball game so far. Bottom of the third. Man meets looking for their first hit of the game. And we're going to go with the 7 8 9 hitters here. Jamie Borquez coming up. And that is going to be called on the outside corner. Strike one. Slow roller right to Merle McGuire, but he's going to get that one, and that will be the first out of the inning. Now he's going to bring in Jacob McCall to the plate. McCall hit a home run in this series already so far. And that is going to be a called ball there. 1-1 one, one count. Called strike two there on the fastball down the middle. And strike three on an in on the down and inside pitch. Not really sure if that was a strike, but it must have crossed the plate. And that is going to be the second out of the inning, and that's going to bring in the pitcher Otis Boudreaux. And that is going to be a 1-1 one, one count. 2-1 count. And that's going to be fouled out of play. Otis keeps alive here. And that's a shot right to Merle McGuire. He's going to scoop that out and take it himself, and that will be the third out of the inning. So once again, the man meets do not get a hit, and that is going to bring up the part of the order here for the Empire. Merle McGuire coming up to the plate. And that is going to be a shot right to Jamie Borquez, but beautiful glove work there by the former Casadore shortstop. And that is going to bring in Biscuit Basher. One of the best hitters in the league, and that shows right there why. And no, it's not going to be good enough, though, as that's going to be a fly out to Jacob McCall. Thought that was going to get down there for a second, but apparently just carried a little too much. And that's going to bring in Tip Tippington, who has the only hit of the game. And that's going to be high and outside. Low into their ball three. Let's see if he gets the green light. He will not because he does not get a good pitch, and that will be four straight balls. And that is going to bring up Eric Shun, who drew a walk earlier in the game. And that is going to be a called strike on the inside corner. And that is going to be popped up into shallow left field, but Borges is going to be right there, and that will end the inning. So once again, nothing across, no hits. And we are coming to the top of the order here for the man meets. Skyler Stevens coming up to the plate. And that is going to be a called strike on the, in, on the outside corner there, 0-1 count. Swing and a miss, 0-2. And that is going to be just on the outside. And there's a call, strike three on the fastball, and that will be the first out of the inning. 
And that is going to bring up Joey Phillips, the former Empire, coming up to the plate here in a man meat uniform. That is going to be a called strike there, 1 1 count. And that's a shot into right field. That will be the first hit of the day for the man meats. And that is going to bring up Thermos Monsoon, the former Cleveland Steamer. Was a Colombian king for about two hours. Now he's a man meat. 2 0 count. And that's a pickoff move, but he'll be back at the plate. There's a strike call there, 2 1 count. And that's going to make it a 3 1. Let's see if he gets a payoff pitch. He does, but it's on the outside corner. Full count here with one on. And that's a shot by Thurvis Monsoon. That is off the glove of the rookie Olaf. And that is going to be a hit. Looks like he's going to go for three, and he does make it to three. Joey Phillips, the old man, showing some speed. And that is going to bring up Howie Felter Snatch, a guy who is very dangerous when he's got runners in scoring position. And that is a called strike here. 0 2 count for the big man. For the big fella, let's put it that way, not the big man. We know who the real big man is. And that is going to be a shot into right center field and that is going to be down we're going to be an out but that will score a run that is deep enough to get joey phillips to come across the plate and the man meets get a one nothing lead here in the fourth and that's gonna be a call strike oh one count and that is just a bit inside one one and that's gonna be popped up behind the plate rob matchers may be able to get back to that he looks like he's going to and that is going to be the end of the inning. But one run does come across on two hits. And the man meets getting an early lead here. And that is going to bring up Elon Olaf. And that's a shot right into center field for a base hit. That's what you want to do if you're the Empire. You want to get this inning started off right. And that's a good way for the rookie to start the inning off here. And here comes another rookie, Marine Rodriguez. Coming up. And that is going to be ball one. And here's a steal attempt. This may not end well, and it's not going to. That is going to be an out. If you don't have that much speed, you must not even try to run on Thermos Monsoon. He's got a cannon. And that is going to be a 3 1 count. That's a deep shot into center field. Back goes Phillips, but he's going to get to it. And that will be the second out of the inning. And that is going to bring up the ninth spot here, Willie Knox. Coming up to the plate, trying to help himself out here. Maybe he can get a base hit to get Fab Freddy up. And that's going to be foul out of play. And that's a shot into left field. That is going deep. And Jacob McCall will get there in time, and that will end the inning. So a hit does come across, but no runs come up. And that will be a one nothing lead going into the fifth inning for the Man Meets. The six, seven, eight hitters are due up. And that is going to be a called strike here. And that's going to be a pop-up into shallow right field. Looks like the second baseman is going to get to that one. That will be Tip Tippington, and he will make the out. And that is going to bring up Jamie Borquez 0 for 1 today. And that is going to be a fastball for a, for a ball one. There's a 1-1 one, one count here. And that's a shot by Borquez. That's a base hit for the meet, for the man meets. Good piece of hitting there by Jamie Borquez to take it the opposite field. And that is going to bring in Jacob McCall. One on, one out. And he starts off with a, with a strike. Swing and a miss 0-2 count here by Jacob McCall. And that's going to be a shot in the right field. That may get down. And fair ball. That was on the chalk. What a great piece of hitting there. And that is going to be runners on the corners for Otis Boudreaux, who could probably just try to lay down a bunt here in this situation. Maybe a safety squeeze, not a suicide. And that's a good bunt right there. He does go for the suicide squeeze, but that works out to perfection. And that is going to bring in Skylar Stevens. And the man meets now playing small ball, having a two-run lead against the defending champs. Swing and a miss. 1-1 one, one count here. And that is going to be foul out of play. 
One two count. And that is going to be ball two. So two two, two outs, one on. And that's a full count here. Maybe he's going to give a walk to Skylar Stevens. And oh, what a pitch by Willie Knox to get the out. And that is going to score a run. So the man meets with the run in that inning. And that's going to bring up the top of the order. And that's going to be a slow roller right to Skylar Stevens. But that's going to be an easy play for the third baseman. That's going to be the first out of the inning. Rob Masters coming up here. We are in the top of the sixth. And that is going to be a ball one. And that is going to be a called strike. There's an inside pitch, 2-1 count. Foul out of play. Otis Boudreaux locked in, five and a third innings pitched. And that's a deep shot in the center field. Joey Phillips will get to that one. And that will be the second out of the inning. So as we said, Otis Boudreaux, five and two thirds innings pitched, two hits, three walks, two strikeouts today for the rookie in his starting debut. Not too bad if you are the man meets. This is a very acceptable outing so far for Otis Boudreaux. And that is going to be a 3-1 count here. Let's see if Merle McGuire gets the green light. He will not take it. That's a 3-2 count now. And that's going to be foul out of play. Looking to see that slider right here. And that's a fastball. And that is down. That's going to be extra bases. And Merle McGuire is going to round second, and he's going to stay a second. I was expecting that slider to be coming in there, but he actually pitched a fastball, and, and Merle McGuire just took it opposite field. Good piece of hitting. And that is going to bring up Biscuit Basher here over two today for the Basher. Not what you want to see if you're Biscuit or the Empire. But this is an opportunity to try to get a run in. Cut this lead. One, two count. And that is going to be a shot right over to the shortstop, but Jamie Borges is going to scoop that one up, and that will end the inning. And that is, we are going to move on to the bottom of the six, two to nothing. And that is going to bring up the next batter. And that is going to be Joey Phillips. I had to put my streamer mode on, so sorry about that. And that is going to be a 2-1 count here to Joey Phillips. One for two with a single today. He does have a run. Full count. And that's a shot by Joey Phillips in the left center field, but that is shallow left center field. Looks like Shun's going to get to that one. And that will be the first out of the inning. So now you have Thermos Monsoon coming in one for two with a single today. That is going to be just outside ball one. 2-0 one, oh offer. And that is going to be a quick 3-0 count. And that is going to be a called strike. And another called strike. So all of a sudden, Willie Knox working back. And that is going to be a base hit up the middle for Thermos Monsoon. And that is going to bring up Howie Felter snatch. So here you go in this situation here. One out, one on. Howie trying to get the runner to move over. And that is not going to do it. That is going to be a 4 or actually a 5-4-3 double play to end the inning. And that is not what you wanted to see if you were the man meets. But that's okay. Otis Boudreaux has been pitching quite well today. And that is going to bring in Tip Tippington. And that is going to be ball one. And that is going to be popped up in the infield. Looks like Howie Felter snatch is going to call everybody off. And that will be the first out. Now the First out, sorry, of the inning. And now he's going to bring up Eric Shun. Shun hits very well against left-handed pitching, especially when it comes to power. 2-1 count here. And that is going to be foul out of play. Lucky fan gets a ball. And that's going to go into left field. That's going to be down for a base hit. And good piece of hitting there. Looked like he may have just gotten jammed, but able to have enough muscle. As I said, he hits left-hander better with power. And that is going to bring in R.A. Dongy. Whitest hair you ever fucking seen in your life. And that is going to be a call strike. 
And what a good outing by Otis Boudreau. I think that deserves a lot of recognition here in the BHB today. As strike three call for the Empire, and now that's going to bring in Marine Rodriguez. And Uncle Fudge is going to come in as the pinch hitter here for the Empire. And then look at this. They got him in a pickoff. They're going to get him in a pickle. And that is going to be the third out of the inning. Nice play there by R.A. Dongy to fool the runner. That's what a veteran can do. And that's going to bring up Akira Buzzsaw. Uncle Fudge is going to move out to center field to replace Marine Rodriguez, and that will be foul out of play. Akira Buzzsaw 0, 0 for 2 today. And that is going to be a strike three call. Not really sure about that. that was high and inside. That almost hit the nipples. And that is going to be the first out. And that is going to bring up Brandon Caveas. I'll never say it right. Somebody's got to tell me how to say this guy's last name. It doesn't seem that complicated, but it is. But it is going to be a fly out to shortstop, nevertheless. Quavas. Okay. Quavas. Okay. Quavas. Is that how you say it? Okay. Whatever. I'll figure it out later. That is going to be Jamie Borquez up at the plate. One for two with a single today. He's got a 2-2 two -two count with two outs. And that is going to be a slow roller right to Willie Knox. And he is going to get that one. And that will be the third out of the inning. So we move it to the top of the eighth. Uncle Fudge, Willie Knox, and then top of the order. I was expect that Willie Knox will be replaced here in this inning. Especially if Uncle Fudge gets on base. And that is going to be a call strike. And that's going to be 1-1 one, one count here. And that is going to be a pop-up into shallow center field. But it looks like Borges is actually going to come over and scoop that one up. And that's going to bring in Willie Knox, who I suspect will be replaced. And there you go. Sant Chanders is going to come in as a pinch hitter to face R.A. Dongy. And that's a swing and a miss on a 94-mile-an-hour fastball. And that is going to be fouled out of play. Swing and a miss, strike three, and that's going to be the second out of the inning. The third baseman, one. And that is going to bring up Fab Freddy here with two outs. And that is going to be a call of strike. And there's a ball up high. And that's going to be foul out of play. And that is going to be a 2-2 count. Foul ball out of play. And that is a strike three call. Beautiful pitch there by R.A. Dongy. And we are going to see Yogi Barr coming out of the pen for the Empire to try to contain the man meat lineup here. We are looking at eight, nine, and one hitters. Now, I will call that probably Dongy, who is one of the better hitting pitchers in all of the BHB, will probably stay in. And strike three, call. The batter is out, and I can see Dongy taking this at bat. And he will. And that's going to be a slow roller right to Fab Freddy, but he will scoop that one up, and that will be the second out of the inning. And that's going to bring in Skylar Stevens. Looking a little tense right now. And that is going to be a ball one. And there's a call of strike here. One, one count. 1-2 count here with two outs. And strike three, the batter is out, and that will end the inning. So the top of the ninth we go, the Empire with the two, three, four hitters. This is where the Empire want to be when they're down two and they need some runs. You need that heart of the order up, and that's what they got. But they are facing against R.A. Dongy, the legend R.A. Dongy. And that is going to be foul out of play. Dongy adjusting his dong. Foul out of play again. And that is going to be a pitch, and that will be up in the air into center field. Looks like Joey Phillips will get to that one. And that will be the first out of the inning. Two outs remain. Merle McGuire coming up to the plate here. Merle can hit right-handers pretty well. Swing and a minute, strike one call. And there's a quick 0-2 count here. I'm looking for the fastball. He gave it to him. And that is going to be Jamie Borges is going to scoop that up, and that will be the second out of the inning. 
Biscuit Basher, the last remaining out here, the last hope. Called strike. And that is going to be, or call ball, I'm sorry, 2 0 -oh count. There's a strike finally. So 2 1 count here. 3 1. And let's see if Biscuit gets the green light. And there's a call strike. Full count here. Last strike. He's got to swing at anything. And that is a swing at anything. And that will be a base hit in the left field. And the game is still alive. The Empire have a shot. And it's going to be on the bat of Tip Tippington. I've seen him hit home runs before. Let's see what he can do with R.A. Dongy. And that is going to be a slow roller right to how he felt a snatch, but the big guy will get it. And that will be the final out. And the man meets get a win with a score of two to nothing. What a game by the international man meets. Taking a look at this here. One run in the fourth, one run in the fifth. That's all they needed. Five hits each for the team. Let's take a look at the stats here. And it looks like Thermos Monsoon had a pretty decent game. Howie Felcher Snatch was able to get an RBI. Otis Boudreau got an RBI. I mean, I gotta tell you, I think I think the player of the game's gotta be Otis Boudreau. I mean, the, it's gotta be Otis Boudreau. Six and a third innings pitch, four hits, zero earned runs, only two strikeouts. R.A. Dongy gets a save through three strikeouts. Willie Knox also pitched a great game, too. Five hits, five strikeouts, only two earned runs. It was just the offense for the Empire did not show up today. And it's actually going to be Willie Knox is going to be the player of the game, according to this. I don't believe that. That's got to, I think it belongs to Otis Boudreaux, hands down. Six and a third innings pitch, four hits, three walks, two Ks. Not to take anything from Willie Knox. He pitched a great game as well, but I just, I got to give it to the rookie in his first to start going up against the defending champs. And that's the kind of outing you get. Great things can be happening here for Otis Boudreaux in the BHB. But great game all around for the man meets. They got the offense when they needed it. And we are going to move on to the next game. I may stay for a little bit. Now, if anybody wants to jump in and do a little bit of broadcasting, be my guest, as I will probably have to duck away here sooner or later, probably in the next 15, 20 minutes. Might be able to get half a game call by then. But we are going to be going into Manitoba as the Knights will be taking on the Manitoba Moose. Yeah, it's been giving the losing team the player of the game a lot. I've, I've noticed that. I have noticed that. Before. But let's take a look at that lineup here. Well, I was going to look at the lineup for the Knights, but he didn't move it back. Thank you. So, all right. So let's take a look at this lineup here real quick. Javier Brizzo. Leading off, Ricky Rodriguez down in the squat, hitting second. Wes Connors batting third. Teddy Lambert batting fourth. Eagle Mondavi, the steroid master, batting fifth, playing shortstop. Outlaw Owens batting sixth. Leighton batting seventh, playing third base. Ricky Kwan is actually going to hit in the eighth spot and play pitcher. And Vinny D is going to bat ninth with Ricky Kwan making a start today for the Knights. Let's go back and look at the moose here. So, Leading off will be Dangley Sack playing left field. Russ Perry batting second, playing right field. Donnie Danks playing third, batting third. David Leathers down on the squat, hitting in the cleanup spot. Nicholas Ornoco batting fifth. Kendrick Bradley batting. Dixie Normus batting seventh. Storm Phillips batting eighth. And then Aaron Kozak is going to be the starter today for the Moose. So it should be a pretty good game here so far. So far, the first one was really good. Let's see what the second one can do. You know, obviously yesterday, the the Knights won four to three against the Moose. And then the day before, they won 11 to three against the Moose. So the Moose are looking for their first victory of the season. 
And like I've said in the bro past broadcast, it's going to be tough because the Knights are a really good team. And let's just see what they can do. So leading off here in the top of the first is going to be Javier Brizzo. And that is going to be a ball high. Swing and a miss by Brizzo. 1-1 one, one count. And that is going to be foul out of play. 1-2 count here. And that is going to be popped up behind the plate. David Leathers jumps up. And that is going to be foul out of play as well. And that is going to be a shot into left field, but that will be foul as well. And that's a shot into deep left center field. But it looks like it's going to be called off, and Dixie Normus will get the first out of the inning, and that's going to bring up the veteran catcher, Ricky Rodriguez, former Irvington Mad Panda. And that is going to be foul out of play. Of course, the Irvington Mad Panda became the Irvington Desperados, which became the Miami Knights. So he has not left. And that is going to be a shot into short, but look at the play by the shortstop. Great glove, almost got him. But with the speed of Ricky Rodriguez, he was able to be safe. And that's going to bring up Wes Connors and those tree trunk of arms. He must work out quite a bit to get those kind of arms. I mean, my forearms are huge, but that's for other reasons. 2-2 two -two count, one out. And that is a dribbler. I, I don't even know how you what you call that. A bunt, a swinging bunt. And that is going to bring in Teddy Lambert here at the cleanup spot. Two or two out, one on. And that is going to be a quick 3-0 count here. Let's see if he gets the green light. He does get the green light. That's going to be a slow roller right to the third baseman, but that will be the third out of the inning. That might have been a pitch you could have took. But nevertheless, that is going to be the end of the inning. The Knights get one hit, but nothing across. And that is going to bring in Dangly Sack. And that is going to be shot into right field, almost out of the outreach of the old homeless bastard-looking motherfucker, Eagle Mondavi. If somebody would just feed that guy, you might have been able to catch the damn ball. And that is going to bring up Russ Perry. And that's a shot into right center field. That ball has got some distance, but then it's going to be, whoa, what a play by Wes Connors on the dive. He's got tree trunks for arms, but shit, he can make a play out there in right field. And that is going to bring in Donnie Danks here. One on, one out. And just a bit inside. And that's going to be fouled off. That was inside again. Looks like they're trying to jam Donnie Danks here. And that is going to be a swing and a miss. Strike three call. And that is going to bring up David Leathers. And then it's going to be a call strike. Ball inside. One, one count here. One on, two out. That is going to be foul out of play. And that is going to be a pickoff move at first, but that will be safe. And that's going to be another foul ball. One, two count. And that is going to be a steal attempt, but he will be out and that will end the inning. Top of the second, we go the five, six, seven hitters up. And here's the guy I saw on the side of the interstate with a cardboard sign saying, I love God and I need food. Eagle Mondavi coming up to the plate. 0 1 count. And that is going to be foul out of play. I mean, if your name is Eagle, you think you'd be like a majestic warrior, but you look like just some old dude on the circle here in downtown Indy. And that is going to be the first out of the inning. And that is going to bring in Outlaw Owens. That is going to be foul out of play. That's going to be low, ball one. Just a bit inside, 2-1 count here. There's a called strike. 
And that is going to be another hit, but foul out of play. Off the wall there. And that is going to be a strike three call. You've got to swing the bat, kid. And that is going to bring in Anthony Layton. Another guy with some big arms. These guys in Miami, like, they just working out, like, all day. They just, like, I guess it's Muscle Beach for a reason. Shit. They either work out a lot or they masturbate quite often. And that is going to bring in David Letters. Here in the bottom of the second. Yeah, I don't know if his name should be Eagle Two Dicks, but that's a shot in the deep right center field. Back he goes, and that is gone. Home run for David Leathers. And the Moose with a lead, 417 feet later, a solo shot by David Leathers. And here comes Nicholas Orinoco. And that is going to be a low and outside. And there's a shot right there to Javier Brizzo, but that will be scooped up, and that will be the first out of the inning. I mean, Eagle Two Dicks could be his name. Double Dutch Rudder could be his name, too. I can see him pulling off some Double Dutch Rudders. I can obviously, if you pay him for it, I think I see what he's doing it for. I mean, shit, the dude weighs like 100 pounds soaking wet. Looks like he needs a haircut and a shave. And that is going to be a strike three call. And that's going to bring up Dixie Enormous. And that is going to be high and outside, ball one. 1-1 one, one count here. 2-1 count. And that's a 3-1 here. Let's see what Ricky Kwan can do. And that is going to be a called strike. And that is going to be foul out of play. And that is going to be popped up right at first base. And Teddy Lambert will just scoot over, and that will be the third out of the inning. So one run coming across from the Moose, thanks to David Leathers. Yeah, you need money for drugs. That's what you look You look like a drug head. You look like where I know where to get some meth from. And that is going to be a 1-1 count. You just look like an old, decrepit bastard in this game. And that is going to be a called strike, and that will bring in Vinny D in the nine spot. Yeah, it's not cocaine he's addicted to. It's 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 Wiener. It's Weiner. And that is going to be a one-two count here to Vinny D. And that's going to be shot right to first base, but look at the glove there by Storm Phillips, and that's going to bring in the top of the order. Top three BHB names. You know, that's that's interesting. And that's a shot into right center field. That is at the warning track, but that will be caught by Dixie Normus. You know, that's a good question, Gunny. I'm going to have to think about that. I'm going to have to think about that. Storm Phillips up at the plate. I mean, holding two dicks was always one of my favorites, too. Like, and that's not even just because he wasn't even on my team forever until just this season. And that's going to be down. That's going to be a base hit for the Moose. And look, don't look now, but the Moose has somebody on base with nobody out. And the pitcher, Aaron Kozak, who's going to lay down a sweet butt, hopefully, to get the runner over. And that's going to be a called strike. And that's going to be high and outside. Oh, that is not what you want to do. That is not a play. Aaron Kozak has got to day after practice and learn how to bunt. Wow. Wow. That's bad. That's real bad. And that is going to be called strike here. 2-1 count. Dangly sack up at the plate. One for one with a single. That is going to be foul out of play. And that is going to be popped up into shallow right field. That looks like it's going to be in fair territory. And it looks like Teddy Lambert's going to take care of that, and that will end the inning. So the Moose started off pretty good, but didn't end very well as Aaron Kozak can't learn how to bunt. And that's going to bring in 
Ricky Rodriguez up at the plate. One for one today with a single. Yeah, Molecular Chungus is a good one. Hey, Would You Blow Me is another good one, too. I, I, I do like Hey, Would You Blow Me. When I put it in the top three, I don't know. I got to think about that. Holding Two Dicks is in the top three. Uh, Dicks and Yomada is, an, is one, another one of the top three. And maybe maybe I just like names with dick in it. I don't know. I mean, that's... I don't know. That's... that's and I'm and I'm the one making that observation. That's sad. It's like all I all day I draw dicks, like little dick soldiers. And... <laughs> dick, yeah, dick penis, rest in peace. Teddy Lambert up at the plate here, and that's going to be popped up into foul territory. Skylar Stevens will be able to get to that one, I believe. I don't know. That's actually Donnie Danks. I'm sorry, wrong game. Donnie Danks will get to that. Yeah, the goat is not in the top three. Maybe the bottom three, but not the top. Three. It's not even a name. Let's just call it like it is. It's not a name. Okay. But if but if your name is the goat is here, and you're on the bench for an expansion team, are you really the goat? Or are you like the sheep? Or like, you know, the cat? You know, the the. The, the, the cicada. I don't know. But that's going to be a shot right to Eagle Mondavi. He will actually make the play. And that's going to bring up David Leathers, the only guy that's gotten anything done in this game so far. A solo shot in his last at bat. And that's going to be a call strike. 1-1 one, one count. And that's going to be a base hit. Oh, no, it's not. Teddy Lambert making a great play there at first base, and that will end the inning. So we move on to the top of the fifth. Yeah, the goat is benched. Like, that's, you're right. I mean, look at you, Eagle, right now. I mean, seriously, look at you. Like, what is wrong? Did you, like, did you have some old, like, Walmart, back of Walmart hooker? Like, but look at this. The old meth head bastard hits one deep and it is gone. You could smoke your meth and fuck your whores all day, Eagle. You keep doing that, 380 feet. Wow, what a shot by Eagle Mondavi. He just basically told me to fuck off. This is what he just told me. He said, I got your meth head and Denny whores right here, buddy. Or is he like Bob Evans whores? Like, I, I mean, is there a classification of whores based on the restaurant? Can you do like Bob Evans whores and then like Waffle House? Maybe, uh, like, Waffle House would be pretty bad, I would think. Now batting, the third baseman. Has anybody ever been to a Waffle House when the sun is up? That's a good question, too. But we're going to talk about Anthony Layton at the plate here, 0 for 1. And that is going to be a called strike, 1-1 one, one count. Holdorf, you would be somebody that had a Waffle House horror. Like, I can see it. And what a double. Ooh, that is not a double play. I thought Storm Phillips was going to get to that one. And that is going to bring up Ricky Kwan. Yeah, if Elsie was in the BHB, she would be probably the MVP already. Waffle House is only good at 2 a.m. when you're drunk, stoned, whatever. And that's a beautiful bunt there laid down. That is going to advance the runner. And here we are, Vinny D coming up here. With two on and a runner a second, scoring opportunity here for the Knights. Here in the top of the fifth. And that is going to be foul out of play. And called strike three, the batter is out. I just gave you props, man. Like, I just said, you keep fucking them Waffle House hookers and keep doing that meth. You keep begging for money on the side of the road. Maybe if you get a shave and a haircut, I won't give you so much shit. And that is going to be low and outside, but that is going to be a call strike here. Yeah, Waffle House is the GOAT. There you go. That's that's the GOAT. I think if he changes his icon or changes his profile picture over to Waffle House, I'd be happy. 
I might even trade for him if he does that. Who knows? And that is going to be a pickoff move at first, but that will be safe. And that is going to be an 0-1 count here. 1-1 one, one count. No, you're right. I wouldn't. No, you can you can have him hold orb. That was your that was that was your ordeal. Full count here. And now it's gonna be foul out of play. And that is gonna be ball four. And that is gonna bring up Dixie Normus. Two on, nobody out here. The moose are threatening. Ricky Kwan might be uh, getting a little tired. I mean, he's only 60 pitches in, but that's going to be a little blooper. That's going to get down. That's going to be a base hit. Is that going to score a run? He's coming to the play, and he is safe. And all of a sudden, the Moose are back on top. Two to one. And that is going to be a strike one call here. And that is going to be down the line. Fair ball. Tough dive by Teddy Lambert. They will still make the play. Good play there by Lambert to keep the focus as he dove, able to pick the ball up, and then was able to make the out here. And Johnny Walker is going to come in. One out, two on, both in scoring position. This is a big spot here for the Moose. A base hit would do a lot of damage in this game. And Aaron Kozak, yes, that was a nice outing by Aaron Kozak. Full count here to Johnny Walker. And he just draw the walk? He did draw the walk. Ricky Kwong loading the bases here. And now you have Dangly Sack coming up at the plate. Bases loaded, one out. Yeah, if only Kozak could bunt, you'd be up like three to one right now. And that's going to be a call strike here, one, two count. And that is going to be a hit. That is down. That will be a hit. That will score a run. Now the Moose are up 3-1. to one. And that is going to bring in Russ Perry. He's 0 for 2 today. Quan might have been drinking some Johnny Walker. Who knows? Outside, 1-1 one, one count here. Base is loaded. Only one out still. Looking for a base hit here. And that is going to be outside. 3 1 count. And that is a walk. And he just walked in a run. And now it's 4 to 1. I think that Ricky Kwan needs to come out. And there you go. He is coming out. Edgar Hamilton will come in the game. Try to lock this down here to try to stop the bleeding. And that's going to be a slow roller right to him. That's going to be a force at the home plate, and that will be a double play to end the inning. Good piece of pitching there by Edgar Hamilton. And Chain and Tuvea will be coming in the pitch. And that is going to bring in, and that's a shot down the third base line. That is a base hit for the Miami Knights, and that is how you want to start this inning. Beautiful piece of hitting there by Javier Brizzo, and that's going to bring in Ricky Rodriguez. Ricky Rod up at the plate here. And that is going to be a safe call back at first base. That is going to be a called strike. That is going to be just outside, 1-1 one, one count. And that's going to be a shot in the right field. That will get down for a base hit. And here we go. Now the Knights are making some moves. Now the right field. Two on and nobody out. It's in, my, it's in my freezer, Gunny. The mango habanero is in the freezer. And that will be a 1-1 one, one count. And that's going to be a pickoff move to second base, but he will be saved. And that's going to be a shot in the right field. That is down for a base hit. And all of a sudden, here you go. A throw at the plate. And he is out at the plate. What an arm. By the right fielder. What a beautiful shot there. I mean, just wow. I don't even know what to say to that. 
Beautiful throw there. Russ Perry looking back at the replay just with a cannon. And here we are, one on, and now you have only two on with one out. That moose was sh that moose shot him down. Swing and a miss, strike three call, and all of a sudden this inning is looking a lot better for the Manitoba Moose. And that is going to bring up Eagle Mondavi, one for two with a home run in an RBI earlier. And that is going to be a safe call with the, with the double steal. And all of a sudden now, this could get nasty, and it just did. Eagle Mondavi into right center field and down in the gap, and that's going to score two. Eagle coming up with the double, and that will all of a sudden put the Knights back in this ball game. What a piece of hitting by Eagle Mondavi. Like, I ain't know how to react to it. Like, he's, he's grown so much since coming into the league. He's grown. When he first got here, all he did was hitting a double plays. Now he's just hitting dangers, and he's just hitting gap shots. Two runs come across, and all of a sudden, this is an interesting ball game. The Moose are only up one now. And Edgar Hamilton's still on the mound. And that's going to be a call strike to David Levitt. That is going to be popped up in foul territory. And that is going to be the first out of the inning. And that is going to bring in Nicholas Orinoco. And that is going to be outside. That is going to be outside again. And that is going to be inside, but that will be swung on, and that will be hit to Eagle Mondavi. He will make the play as short. And that is going to bring in Kendrick Bradley. That is going to be a slow roller right there, wherever that was, <laughs> right down first base line. Ricky Rodriguez jumping up to it. And now we are moving on to the top of the seventh. Anthony Layton coming up to the plate. Three to one is the score. And that is going to be a strike call to Anthony Layton. And that is going to be 3 1 count. And that is going to be a walk. And that is going to bring in Edgar Hamilton, but that is actually going to bring in Emma Watson. Will be coming in to pinch hit. And that is going to be a call strike. And that is going to be a shot right to the second baseman. He makes a dive, but he was still able to get the out to get the force a second. And that is going to bring in Vinny D here over two. One one count here. That's a shot into right field. That will be down. Look at once again making a play. Kendrick Bradley does able to stop the ball, but not able to catch the ball. So now here you go. Gravity Steve is going to come in to, into relief. You got two on with one out. The Knights are threatening once again. And that is going to bring in Javier Brizzo. Always dangerous Javier Brizzo. One for three today. And that's a shot right up the middle. Bradley stops it this time. And that is going to be a 4-6-3 double play to end the inning. And here comes Frank and Biggs. Frank and Biggs are coming in. Dixie Norma's coming up to the plate here. One for two today. Man's going to be inside. 2-0 count. There's a called strike here. 2-1. And it's going to be a shot down the right field line. That will be a fair ball, and that will be extra bases. Wes Connors finally getting to it, but that is not going to matter. as That's going to be a double for the Moose. And that is going to bring in Storm Phillips here. Nobody out, and you already got a runner in scoring position. The Moose looking to extend this lead here in the late innings. And that is going to be outside. 2-0 count. There's a called strike. 2-1. High. 3-1 count here. 
And there is a walk by Franken Beans. And that is going to bring up Gravity Steve. Is he going to stay in the game? He is not going to stay in the game. I'm on the threesome. He's going to come in. The way she's shaking them hips, though, she might get one. That is going to be a strike. 0-2 count here. Two on, nobody out. And that is going to be outside. And that's a shot right to third base. And that is going to be the... No. He did get the out. But he did not get the double play. He wasn't able to turn it. So dangly sack here with one out. Coming up to the plate. And that's going to be foul out of play. And that's going to be swing and a miss. One, two count. And that is going to be a strike three call. And that is the second out of the inning. And that's going to bring in Russ Perry. And that's going to be a shot right to Teddy Lambert, but he will scoop that one up, and that will be the third out of the inning. Theodore Crumpleton is going to come in to, in relief here in the top of the eighth. I got till 2.30, so it's nine minutes left to go for the dick shot. And that is going to be just outside ball one. And that is going to be inside. 3-0 count here to Ricky Rod. Here's a 3-1 offer. And maybe that nine minutes might end. So give me one second here. This just in, Dick shot in for the whole game, folks. I told work to fuck off. I got BHB to do. And here we go. Runner on second. And that's a shot into deep center field. And it is out of here. The Knights with a shot. Teddy Lambert takes the lead. And that is going to bring in Eagle Mondavi, who is locked in two for three with a single or a home run, a double, three RBIs today. And that is going to be a shot right at all. Oh, look at the snag by the shortstop. Sit your ass down, Eagle Mondavi. From the late great Dave Axis, sit your ass down. 2 0 count here. And that's going to be shot. And look at that. Oh, almost had the exact same play. But Kendrick Bradley once again with, with the case of the drops today. The third baseman, and that is going to bring in Anthony Layton. And that's going to be a swing and a miss. Strike call. 0-2 count here with two outs. And that's going to be foul out of play. And that is going to be hit right to Kendrick Bradley. He's going to scoop it up, and that will be the third out of the inning. But the damage is done. Two runs in the top of the eighth. The, the Moose were coasting through four, and then all of a sudden the Knights said, oh, wait, we're the fucking Knights. Hang on a minute. And they turned it up for five runs here in the past four innings. And that is going to bring in Donnie Danks here, the three, four, five hitters for the Moose coming up. A 1-2 count here by Frank and Beans, and that will be just outside. 2-2 two, two count, and that's going to be a little blooper into left field. Will that be playable? It will be. Looks like it hung up to dry too long, and now Al Owens is going to get to it. So here you go. David Leather's coming up, a, a big hitter for the Moose. Let's see what he could do, and that's going to be a low and outside 2-0 count. And there's a call strike 2-1 count here. And he could get the green light. Ooh, that was a really good pitch, but he did not swing. 
Full count, and that's going to be a shot into left field. I think I would have swung at the pitch before. And that is going to be the second out of the inning, and that's going to bring in Nicholas Orinoco. And that is going to be a high ball. There's a called strike, 1-1 one, one count. 1-2 one, count here. Just inside by hit him in the dick. And that's going to be high ball three. I'm kind of surprised that that pitch was not called a strike. That thing was pretty close to the letters. But he didn't get the call, and that's going to bring in Kendrick Bradley. 0 for 2 today and a lot of errors. And that's a shot into left field, but that will be in foul territory. Does he have a chance to get to it? He does not. That is going to be a foul ball. And that's going to be a steal attempt on Ricky Rod, but you know how to not run against Ricky Rod. That is an out, and here we go in the top of the ninth. The Knights looking to try to get some insurance runs. And that's going to probably bring out Frank and Beans, I would assume, and it does. Jennifer Lopez coming in to hit. I think Ricky has a thing for Emma Watson and Jennifer Lopez. And that's a shot into left field. That will be a base hit by the pinch hitter, Jennifer Lopez. And that is going to bring in Vinny D. Good piece of hitting there by Jennifer Lopez. And that's going to be a shot deep into right field, but that will be in foul territory. And that's going to be popped up behind the plate. David Leathers jumps up and will make the play. And that will be the first out of the inning. So one on, Javier Brizzo in the top of the order coming up for the Knights. These first five hitters for the Knights have really done some damage today. And that's going to be popped up into foul territory. That may be an opportunity. And what a play! What a play by the first baseman. Good play there by Storm Phillips with the diving catch. And that's going to bring up Ricky Rod. Two for three with two singles and a walk today for Ricky Rodriguez. And that is going to be high 2-1 count here. 3-1 count. And that is a ball four. And if you're the Moose, that is not what you want to do. You don't want to give Wes Connors a chance. And here comes Baker Martinez. Probably a good, good situation to put Baker in. Two on, two outs. Just needs to get this out here. That way they can have a shot at winning the game. Here's the pitch. And that's going to be a shot into left field. Will that get down? It will get down. And all of a sudden, the bases are loaded. And here comes Teddy Lambert. In his last at bat, hit a hit a bomb to take the lead. And here is an opportunity for a grand salami. And that's going to be a shot right up the middle. That is going to score a run. Will it score two? It looks like it's going to score two. And all of a sudden, the Knights with a 7-4 to four lead. And here comes a guy who's been locked in all day, Eagle Mondavi. Two on, two outs. And that is going to be foul out of play. And that's going to be a call strike. One, two count here to Eagle. And that's going to be a shot right to shortstop, but that will be the end of the inning. The Knights are going to bring in Bob Kelso to close it out. They get two runs in the ninth. Thanks to Teddy Lambert. And that's going to bring up Kendrick Bradley, the six, seven, eight hitters for the Moose. Last chance. That is going to be inside. Ball one. That is going to be a shot straight up the middle base hit. Kendrick Bradley making up for some of those errors earlier. And here comes Dixie Normus. And that's going to be a shot right to Teddy Lambert, but that's going to be a 3-6-3 three, three double play. And they are down to the last option. Storm Phillips coming in. And that's going to be a called strike to Storm Phillips. 1-1 one, one count here. Swing and a miss, and he's down to his last strike. And that's going to be a shot up the middle, and that will continue the game. Storm Phillips. Baker Martinez will probably be up, and I would imagine he's going to be replaced here. 
and he will be replaced. Long Wang is going to come in, and somebody with the name Long Wang, I think he's going to swing a long bat. Could be a good opportunity here. And that's going to be a call strike, 0-2 count. If you're going to be up there, though, you better swing the damn bat, Long Wang. And strike three call. Didn't even attempt to swing the bat. At least go down swinging. And the Knights get the win. What a comeback game for the Miami Knights. First four innings, the offense just struggled. Really, the first five innings, they were down four to one. And then the sixth, eighth, and ninth innings, they got six runs combined. And the Miami Knights coming in to win the game. And let's take a look at these stats here really quick. Ricky Rod, two for three. Teddy Lambert, two for five with a home run and four RBIs. Eva Mondavi, two for five with a home run and three RBIs. Those are probably my top contestants for player of the game. I would probably say Eagle, then Teddy, but I don't know. It may be Teddy, then Eagle. Let's take a look here. Frank and Beans with the win. Two innings pitched, two walks and a strikeout. Crunkleton taking the loss, an inning and a two-thirds. Gave up four earned runs. And then Bob Kelso coming in with the save. Gave up two hits, but got the job done. And let's take a look. As I predicted, Eagle Mondavi will be the player of the game, followed by Teddy Lambert, followed by Ricky Rodriguez. So an overall big game by the Miami Knights. And that will do it for this afternoon's games. Later on tonight, you will see these games. The Las Vegas Jokers... Going up against the Atlanta Rippers, the Dallas Rough Riders will be taking on the Turkey Turkeys, and then the Colombian Kings will take on the Lone Star Glory. So, once again, this has been Donnie Dickshot. Thank you, and we will see you later tonight on the Big Head Sports Network.